Peace and love, family. Peace and love. Hello. <laughs> How is everyone? So we were just having a conversation, and I was like, you know what? We always be having these good conversations off camera. Yep. We should go live. And so what we were talking about was um, the power of choice. So actually, where do we start? We're talking about one, how one decision, one decision can change your life. Facts. So we were having a conversation about one, making a choice. We were talking about business development, how a lot of times like the, where you want to be in life and where you are right now is only this far apart. And the thing that's keeping you from being in alignment with where you want to be. Oh, y'all can't hear? There's no volume? Put a two in the chat if y'all can hear us. I wonder why there's no volume. Mm -hmm. Can y'all hear? Ain't nobody putting no two in oh, the chat. Oh, somebody's saying I can hear. So... We were talking about how okay. where you are and where your dreams are is this far apart. Like, it's very close. It's just a matter of you making a choice, making a decision to just do the dang on thing. Yep. And so from that, we were talking about, y'all know my mom has over 20 years clean, 21 years in May to be exact. And so we were talking about recovery and we were talking about being an athlete and how if you can overcome certain things in life, like you can overcome anything, right. right? Like there is nothing that is impossible. Like something being impossible is a mental construct that we were, I don't know, taught. So we wanted to hop on live because these conversations are important and a lot of people can actually relate to these things. And it's like, we talking about it in private, but <laughs> let's talk, let's get online yeah. and let's talk because some people do suffer in silence and some people want community and you know we can create that space online so there's power in choice yeah and that that's what we were talking about like for me when i reflect back on my active addiction and then getting into recovery it was me just making one decision and where we started was talking about how one decision one decision can change Everything, 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 the direction of your life, and it can be positive or negative. But we were talking about like the positive aspect of it. Like, I made one decision to stop using drugs and stop letting drugs and alcohol control my life. That one decision has now, like, I'm in Costa Rica, I'm right. present for two of my children, my grandchildren's, you know, birth, right. like, physically present, right. catching the baby, like, and. It was all of this came because of the one choice that I made. Like we made one choice to come to Costa Rica and live here. You made one choice to become an entrepreneur. Yeah. And then because of your choice, I made the choice yeah. to, you know, to partner with you. And so creating those spaces of encouragement, like you're only one decision away from a change. Yes. One decision away from a change. That's it. It's that simple, but we are so freaking complicated and like we overthink and so much doubt and so much fear and so much, this one right here, so much comparison, right? That'll work for you, but it ain't gonna work for me. Right. She did that, but I ain't gonna be able to do it because this is different. No, yes. it's a decision and the power is in your choices. Yes. We, that's why we have choices. That's where the power lies. Mm -hmm, the power in choice. Right, we can't give other people our choice, mm -mm. right? And we talk about that too, like with honesty, right? If I'm lying and I'm not being honest, then I'm not really giving you a choice because uh -huh. you're not making a decision based on the truth. You're right. making a decision based on the lie, right? Right. So that's another. That's a conversation <laughs> for another day. Yeah. But yeah, choices. Mm -hmm. And then guess what? We don't have to stay loyal to a bad choice either, right? So if you made a bad decision, make another one. Yeah. Make another, oh, I've been in this for so long. It's been this way for so long. <laughs> so the F what? Right. Okay. You and do something different. Right. You made a choice to be in it, now make a choice to be out of it. Right. You know, whatever that it is, you know, if it's not serving you and it's not in your highest and best interest, and like that highest and best interest has like a whole different meaning yeah. today. Yeah. Like highest and best. Yes. Yes, for Child. sure. 
For sure. You're talking about the highest and best offer. What <laughs> offer? What about my interest? That though? part. <laughs> so, like, I want to encourage everyone to make a decision, right? To make a choice that aligns with what you feel you are deserving of, what you feel is in your highest and best mm-hmm. interest. Because even going to the space of, like, entrepreneurship, talking about how, you know, I did choose to become an entrepreneur because I got fired and I'm like, okay, what can I do to, so I got fired and then shortly after getting fired, I found out I had a baby on the way. So I'm like, okay, I have to make a choice now. I can either choose to stay in this cycle of this nine to five culture and be all tired and like miss out on my baby, or I can make a choice to like learn something, become an entrepreneur. I chose to write an ebook that opened up the door to so many other business ventures but Mm -hmm. it was that one choice Mm -hmm. and so for everyone that's on here it's like yeah there it can be intimidating because there's a lot of fear in the unknown but there's also a lot of like victory and success in the unknown too right so just really allowing yourself to know that everything is always working out and just be having the confidence to make a choice right and and your choice empowers someone else right so my choice to not use drugs and alcohol has empowered other women that i've been able to be an example for and guide in their recovery journey right you making the choice to be an entrepreneur and be there for your children Mm -hmm. how many emails do we get about people being encouraged by both of our stories individually or collectively So the thing with that is when we don't make a choice to do something different, we also deny other people Mm -hmm. an opportunity to grow from what Mm -hmm. we've experienced, right? Mm -hmm. So because you're a mom with two children, living in Costa Rica, entrepreneur, that's empowering for the mom that's sitting in the apartment trying to figure out how she's going to do it. You're an example that it works. But it only works if you work it, right? right. We say that in recovery, but right. that can be in, a, in that can be applied to anything. Yeah. It only works if you work it. You have to do the work, mm-hmm. and with that, you have to start mm-hmm. somewhere. Mm-hmm. Don't overanalyze. Don't overthink it. Mm-hmm. Don't like just start. Think yeah. of all the impulsive decisions that you made that didn't serve you well. <laughs> <laughs> if you turn that around and make some impulsive decisions that are actually for you man yeah you're unstoppable absolutely unstoppable yeah so true and um so 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 true um yeah so i would just say like get super clear on what it is that you want like get clear on what that looks like and then you make a decision that you feel like is in the direction of what you want Mm -hmm. and and clear like yeah crystal clear what it feels like what it smells like what it looks yes. like what it feels like to have the money that you want what it feels like to have that business that you want mm-hmm. that nonprofit that you want you know just what it like really really visualizing those things for yourself mm-hmm. for ourselves right mm-hmm. because we it don't stop here we still yeah, have no. Bigger dreams, yes. bigger goals, bigger things yes. that we want to do. Because this is not just about us being in a good place. This is about spreading the love and then being philanthropists where we can help other people. Because yeah. there's people out here that need help. Yeah. Like addiction, mental health, like all those things. Like those things are real. Mm-hmm. And there's people that are suffering in silence. Like mm-hmm. we just found out about someone that is struggling that we had no idea. Yeah. You know, and it was like if they would have just if they would have just said something, we could have yeah. helped. But yeah. instead, they were embarrassed by being exposed, and they they just left. I know. And that's just gonna drive them deeper into their addiction. It's so sad. My heart is so broken. I know. I know. But but yeah. So. Yeah. And going back to what you said about, like, people need help. So, business again. Let's talk about business. So, yeah, people need help. And 
your story, your experience is the very thing that can provide a solution for what those people need. So, mm -hmm. like you said earlier, like people are empowered, people benefit from you sharing your story. But so many people out here need help, whether it is starting your business, how do you form your LLC, if it is mental health, if it is something else, you have something inside of you that you can offer somebody. Yeah. And so what you have to do is understand that everything is an opportunity. Everything that you have gone through is an opportunity to help the next person and you can totally monetize it. You can monetize your passion, you can monetize you being of service to someone else because mm -hmm. it's it, that's just the world that we live in, you know, exchange. So equal exchange, it can be a monetary exchange, it can be an act of service or something like that. But like you have something that someone else can benefit from. Even if it's, you know how to do hair, right? And like my hair is dry and brittle and I need some help. It's like, all right, I need help. <laughs> so looking at people needing help as an opportunity to you know grow your brand and to grow your business, but to also be of service. And yeah, you can still have your nonprofit. Yeah, and like, that's what somebody asked if we have a nonprofit. Yes, we yeah. did. And offer those services and get grants and have everyone uh, and where everyone benefits, but just don't don't sleep on what you have to offer. That's what I wanted to add. Don't sleep on your story. Don't sleep on no opportunities. Don't let anything pass you by because everything is um, an opportunity for you to help the next person and also for you to, you know, get to where you want to be. And for, like y'all know our story, you know, we started with credit, just really needing to fix credit, mm -hmm. our own credit. <laughs> couldn't afford no credit repair specialist. I know credit repair specialists offer a solution to a problem, but baby, I couldn't afford it. So, like, we had to figure it out. We figured it out, and it's like, all right, this is what we did. This is how we can help the next person. And now it has evolved, right? Like, we have multiple businesses that we're, we love. And we were just talking the other day how, like, damn, we really in a space where we're just doing what we love. Mm -hmm. Like, it's not, it's, it's no compromise or anything. This is what we love to do. So now we provide a solution for those that want to get into the space of making, generating an online income, but you don't know where to start. You don't even know what that looks like. You don't have a payment process. So now we show you exactly what to do, even down to like typing your password into the password section. Like <laughs> we make it real clear because we don't want no excuses. All right. So, um, you know, seeing everything as an opportunity is also something that I want to encourage you to do because everybody needs help. Yes, everybody needs help. So, and what else were we talking about? You were talking about um, how you were able, able to overcome addiction. And if you can overcome addiction, you can do anything. Yeah. Right? Yeah, like absolutely. It. And that's just, that's my personal, you know, that's my personal perspective on it because that's hard you know if something if you've been addicted to something or someone right because it doesn't always have to be drugs right you can be addicted to a toxic relationship you can be addicted to gambling you can yeah. be addicted to sex you can be addicted to shopping you know there's a lot of things that people are addicted to of course drugs and alcohol have the biggest you know negative consequences because people ultimately you know OD or end yeah. up in prison or jail and things like that but the point that I'm making is like that was hard for me and making that decision was life-changing and so now looking in at the entrepreneur aspect of it right I have to remind myself like chick you done <laughs> overcame addiction right. like why are you tripping over here about this thing <laughs> right and and I say that because like we all have had a win or yeah. two or three and like we forget about the wins we forget about the things that we've already overcome and get hyper focused on the things that we're struggling with and we just have to remind ourselves and then the other part of that is where's the proof that you can't do it right who said you can't do it where's the proof right you have no proof that it's not going to work because you never tried mm -hmm. right and if you did try and it didn't work then try it a different exactly. way exactly right it's not one and done if you look at some of the most successful people they have had multiple multiple failures yes. big big bags worth of failure <laughs> right millions yeah and so we can get started with the essentials and make money yeah canva is free yeah marketing on social media is free, free. 
Um, Your payment process yeah, is free. free. <laughs> right, learning stuff on YouTube, going to the gurus, like those things are free. So there's no reason for anyone not to start. Somewhere. Somewhere. Yeah. So. Really. And, and we're here to guide you, you know, one, you know, to help you on that journey. You know, some of us get it, and then some of us need a little bit of support, and mm -hmm. some of us need a lot more That's support. True. You know, it depends on where you're at. Everybody is different and learns differently, but take action. Yeah. Start somewhere. Mm -hmm. And I'm grateful for the contrast, too, because earlier we were also talking, like, I'm obsessed with automation. Like, we were talking about how amazing it felt to, like, just do nothing. What? Stop rocking. I'm not a baby. <laughs> How amazing it felt to have everything done on autopilot. Like, it feels so awesome to put your business on autopilot and it run itself. So, I'm obsessed with that right now. And I was saying, like, to me, it's second nature. And she was like, no, but no, that's not second nature. And yeah. I'm like, but it is, though. And my mom was like, no, like, some people really don't know where to start and it's not second nature. So, I'm grateful for the contrast mm -hmm. of the people that have experience it comes natural and then i'm also super grateful for those that's like uh-uh i need help from you know the very beginning because exactly. it also grounds it's grounding for me mm -hmm. because it's like okay this isn't second nature i guess and it helps with teaching you know yeah. it helps with with teaching so um where was i going with that the contrast so it's okay if you don't even know where to start it's fine like that helps the community shoot that helps me Cause I'm over here like, no, this is second nature. Everybody should already know this. So she's like, no, no. everybody doesn't know that. <laughs> no. <laughs> so I'm happy that you don't know where to start if that's you, because it helps with the, it, it just helps. We need the contrast, right? As above, so below. And, um, yeah, so we're doing the seven and seven, March the 27th. And it's seven days of showing you how to create an online income right and i'm telling you it's 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 gonna give you all the tools all the resources even down to how you type your password in the password section when you go to log into an account because again a lot of times you learn you can learn a whole lot of information you got to put all the puzzle pieces together but this workshop this seven and seven days starting on march 27th is a, a something that we curated out of our desire to see everyone have time freedom, mm -hmm. location freedom, time with your babies, automation. Like, we created it with you in mm -hmm. mind. But more so, um, so you can have a tangible resource that you can always refer back to. And you can develop these businesses. Because yeah. the digital marketing space, I'm telling y'all, like, if y'all ain't hopping on and hopping into the digital marketing world, right now you're going to be left behind. Yeah, because that's going to be the way of the world. Like, people are really not going to be walking in those stores for products and services. Mm -hmm. going to I mean, look at it right now. And the pandemic sure didn't help yeah. that because we will do everything online. I can't mm -hmm. even tell y'all, like, where there's, like, things that I'm interested in. It's like, oh, it's in person. Right. I ain't going. They right. don't have a virtual. Right. You know, because it's just so beautiful to have that comfort of not having to leave if you don't want to. Yeah. So don't sleep on, you know, what's coming because you have a product or a service that somebody can benefit from. Yeah. So don't deny them that opportunity because <laughs> if you don't do it, somebody else will. Yes. But they ain't going to be able to do it the way you do it. So you might as well just go exactly. ahead. Exactly. <laughs> yes. And that goes back to like how we be eating these chips, y'all. And these <laughs> chips, is, they're called uglies. So this is our favorite brand of chips here. And we were like, why do these chips taste so good? And we were thinking they were like some off, like some Costa indigenous, Rican, yeah. like an indigenous chip. And so we started reading the back of the bag. They manufactured in the US. Pennsylvania. So, <laughs> I was so disappointed. <laughs> so they're manufactured in Pennsylvania. And so my mom was like, do you, do you think that these people created these chips knowing that they were going to be in Costa Rica, they're going to be in 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 the in Europe, like going to be all around the world. And I was like, no. Nah. They were like in like McDonald's. Like, you know, did these people that put these um, ideas together and launch these businesses, did they go into it already knowing they were going to be global? They probably did or they probably didn't. But what we concluded with the Chips Uglies is that 
um, they, it, you know, it's a small family owned um, business and they probably were just wanting to serve their local community. Mm -hmm. But here they are in Costa Rica. We thinking that it's something indigenous to Costa Rica. And so. they're expensive too. Yeah, they are. But they're worth it. They're so good. They are so worth it. So same for you. Like you can create something right now that ends up being global because people love it and mm -hmm. people share it. And next thing you know, like you're on tour and everybody wants your product or they right. want your service or they want to be exactly. a part of your community. Like you just don't know how good it gets here. You don't know. So, um, you know, whatever it is that you offer can go global and you can have a best-selling book. Like you just don't know. Even social media, like I'll post something, never know what's gonna go viral. I never know. And like, Two days in a row, it's like, oh, this post went viral. Oh, a million views. I'm like, okay, who would have thought? And right. then I'm like, well, let me go see what I said in the video and what people get access to. So you just never know. But um, does anyone have any questions? And if you haven't already joined the uh, 7 and 7 workshop, you can click the link in our bios and join the 7 and 7 workshop. We... Um, are offering general VIP and platinum VIP. So there's three different offers. And if you become an affiliate and you decide to share the workshop with your friends, you can totally um, do that and earn 50% commission every time someone joins the workshop using your affiliate link. So you can make some money. And the person that generates the most revenue, we're gonna <laughs> bring you here to Costa Rica for five nights. Um, just to relax or to learn whatever you decide you want to do. So if you become an affiliate, that's the incentive. We're gifting you a five night stay in Costa Rica as an incentive for making money. I'm sorry. Where do you so, get that at? I know, right? Oh, you're going to let me come to Costa Rica? I'm going to make money and I'm going to win a prize. <laughs> hmm. Right. Yeah, that's so, rare. We're on the Caribbean side. Somebody asked what part. We're on the Caribbean side where it's hot. Yes. Yeah, hot, hot. But you know what? It wasn't that hot today. It was for me on that bicycle. Yeah, that's true. I was in the house all day today. I was riding a bike. It's so <laughs> cool though, right? You get on the bike, you go to the grocery store, put all the stuff in the basket, <laughs> pedal back. Like, it's so liberating. Yeah. And like, you're not... You're getting exercise, yeah. you're not polluting the environment, yeah. you're getting fresh air, a little bit on the warm side, but that's okay. <laughs> and like I'm riding alongside of the beach, yeah. so you get the breeze. So it's just like, Paradise. it is. And you know, and I know I talk about my recovery a lot, you know, it's just, these are things that I just never thought were possible. Right. Yeah. Just never thought, like I thought, get clean, work at the post office, retire from the post office. Mm -hmm. When I get my little pension, I'll go on vacation. Mm -hmm. And like, I'm on vacation every day. Every day, every day. I'm on vacation. If I want to go to the beach, I can hop on the bike and go to the beach. If I don't want to go, I can stay right here. And if you want to be in your business, you can be in your business. Yeah. If not, you don't have to because it's automated. Exactly. <laughs> How about that? Like if you want to check emails, cool, check them. If you don't feel like it, Cool. you don't have to they still get answered but lately we've been answering like the comments yeah. and stuff and it's been cool i want to thank everybody for the love absolutely and the encouragement and just all the words of empowerment and and sharing how like we inspire is yeah. really cool so and if you have people that are struggling you know with addiction or you are struggling with someone that is in yeah. addiction like follow me follow my yeah. page like I'm, I'm really moving more into i'm being more vocal about my recovery because i feel like it's necessary um i've always been vocal but not on this type of platform yeah. but it's necessary and people need to know that there is a way out and even if you have like a family member or someone that you really care about you don't know what to do right because some people just don't know what yeah. to do like just follow me because i'm gonna be I'm going to be putting some stuff out there. Yeah. Yeah. So make sure y'all follow her. And one of the things that I also love, like, my, so I have a sibling that is in active addiction. And so, you know, even for me, I need to have support in, like, how to receive her and mm -hmm. how to still love her. 
So even if you don't feel like you're directly affected, but like she was saying, you know someone or like we all need support. We all need support. Like having a sibling that's out there and I'm looking at her children grow up and she's not present, it really hurts. And so having a space where you can vent and talk about how that makes you feel to see your older sibling like suffer Mm -hmm. um, is cool. So I also encourage you to follow Life Revitalized if you're someone like me and you're just like, I don't know what to do with my sibling. Like, they've been out there way too long. So, um, support, community is everything. And you can totally um, shift and, and change the narrative by being surrounded by people that change the narrative with you, yeah. if that makes sense. Because we can come up with our own, like, anger and our own trauma. Yeah, and, and even, like, if it's your kid or someone yeah. that you, you influenced as they grew up, like, yeah. as a parent, like, it's easy to blame yourself thinking that you may have gone, like, where did I go wrong? Yeah. And what did I do? Or, you know, but, like, we can only teach and be an example and do all the things but ultimately our children our loved ones the people they make their again the choice right it goes back to the choice yeah. they make their own choices yeah. yeah and other people's choices is not a direct result of mm -hmm. something we did or didn't do because mm -hmm. a choice is just that it's a choice mm -hmm. so you know um but it goes mm -hmm. a little bit deeper with addiction you know there is a time where people feel like they don't have a choice because it's just such a mental it has such a mental hold. yeah so yes, it is yeah. a disease yeah it is but you know i would have to explain that on a different live because yeah. there's a lot of people that there have like this this yeah. back and forth like it's a disease no it's a choice people should know better people should do better but that's not necessarily true mm -hmm. you know my philosophy has always been you know there are people that don't know that there's a way out and they're lost but once you know you can't go back to not knowing right when you know something you can't act like you don't know it all right certain things when it comes to life Oh, I didn't know. Yeah, you did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, you did. You, you know. Yeah. So, and that's different from unlearning the societal construct. Right. So don't right, right, don't right. get it twisted. I'm on right. a whole different, <laughs> you know, because some things we do need to unknow. Yeah. But life things, we know. Yeah. You know, when it comes to our personal stuff. Mm hmm For sure. Mm hmm For sure. For sure. So thank you everyone for for tuning in for joining us, sharing space with us. We appreciate Absolutely. you. If you have any questions, this will be record this is gonna be saved. So definitely um comment your questions below and then make sure you go follow Life Revitalized and make sure you reshare this to anyone you think can benefit. Absolutely. But for now we'll see you whenever we decide one. to do another <laughs> live. <laughs> All right. Have a good one y'all. Bye.